Hello students, welcome to all of you in class 4th. I am your math teacher Sarita Batra. Today I am going to teach you addition. It is very simple topic. Without your teacher, I hope you can understand this topic very easily. In the previous class, we have learned how to add 3 and 4 digit number. Now today, let us see how to add 5 or 6 digit number. All of you are very smart. Let us start. First of all, do you know what is the meaning of addition? Addition means sum or total. This is more than any of the given number. The number which we add are called addends. Now see here, the numbers to be added are called addends. The result obtained after adding is called the sum. In this example, you can see 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. It means 8 and 3 both number are added and 11 is sum. Very good children. I hope these two terms you can understand. Now again I am going to repeat 8 and 3. These number are called addends and 11 is called sum. Now children through examples we will try to understand the steps of addition. In previous class I know all of you know how to add without carry or carry. First of all, now in this class, 5 and 6 digit number we are going to add. It means place value of 2 digit increase more. 10,000 and lakh. Now you are seeing in this example, 5 lakh 34,410 and 23,935. Now, when first of all, we arrange all these two numbers in the column form. You are seeing there are six place value, ones, T for tens, H400, TH4000 and TTH means 10,000 in the last lakh. Now, you are seeing we are arranging these number in proper column. Now, the first number 5 lakh 34,410. The next number is 23,935. Now, we are going to add from where we will start. Naturally, we will start from the right to left. The first number O means ones. When we add 0 and 5, what will be the answer? Think of it. 5 naturally, when we will add any number in 0, we will get itself number. It means 5, we will write on the bottom. Now the next column is T for tens. 1 and 3. When we add 1 and 3, what will become? 4. Very good. Now in the next column, H means 100. 4 plus 9. Naturally, 4 plus 9, speak out immediate. 13. But we cannot write 13. We will write only 3. And the 1 goes to next column, 1000. Now, in the next column, by same method, we will add 4 plus 3, 7. 7 now we will add one carry number. When we add carry number, it will become 8. Now, children, what will be the next column? 10,000. It means when we add 3 and 2, the answer is 5. In the last, 
lakh adding lakh but there is no another number it means 5 again we will write in the bottom 5 now thus the sum of 23935 and 5 lakh 34410 is 5 lakh 58345 i think you can understand very easily children i hope you understood it because addition is very simple 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 okay children we will take one more example now see another example here now read these numbers here there are three numbers we have it now the first number is 554 the next number is 21 2132 the last number is 81419 now children when we add these numbers again there are the same steps we will start from ones when we start from ones now see these number 4 2 9 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 9 15 again 15 has two digit 5 comes in the bottom and 1 goes to carry we will carry another number now children in the tens column 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 1 9 9 plus 1 10 we cannot write whole number 10 here only we can choose 0 again 1 carries to the 100 column now again add it 5 plus 1 6 6 plus 4 10 and what will be the next step add carry number 10 plus 1 11 11 is means 1 again 1 goes to 1000 column 2 plus 1 3 and 3 plus 1 carry number becomes 4 in the last 10,000 column you are seeing it is only one number there is no another number to add it means 8 the answer 8 84,405 our answer is the sum of 554 2132 and 81419 is 84105. Now do you want to do more sums? Okay. I hope all of you are enjoying to do these sums. Now children, now see another example. I am going to take Another one more example. Find the sums of 43,428 and 46,325. What will be the solution? Arrange the digit of the addends in column and add as usual. 43,428, 46,325. These first two numbers are called addends. We have to find out sum. Again, we are going to start from right to left. 8 plus 5, what will become? Naturally, 13. 13, it means 3 we will write on the bottom and 1 goes to the next column. 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 1, 5. Now, children, see another column. 4 plus 3. What will be the answer? Think of it. Naturally, 7. Now, in the 10,000, sorry, 1,000 column, you are seeing 
3 and 6 becomes 9. In the last, 4 plus 4, 8. It becomes, the sum is 89,753. Very good children. Now, I am taking one more example with you. Now, see, there are three numbers. 66 lakh 69,702. 1 lakh 54,789. And 1 lakh 13,465. Here, there are three add-ins. First of all, again, arrange the digits of the addends in column and add as usual. Now watch it. The first we are going to start from once again. 2 plus 9, 11. 11 plus 5, 16. We cannot whole number 16 here. It means 16 we will write. Only 6, 1 goes to next column. 8 plus 6, 14. 14 1 plus 1, 15. 15 fives down and 1 goes to again. Next numbers carry. 7 plus 7, 14. 14 plus 4, 18. 18 plus 1, 19. 19 is 9. We will write and 1 goes to the next column, 1000. 9 plus 4, 13. 13 plus 3, very good. 16, again we will add carry number. 16 plus 1, 17. Again we will write 7 in the sum column. And C, 6 plus, six plus 5, 13 plus 1, 14. 1, 6 plus 5, 11, 11 plus 1, 12, and 12 plus 1, 13, 3, and goes to next number. In the last, it becomes 9. The sum is 93, 9,37,956. Now, see these two sums for practice. Find the sum of 4,38,755 plus 1,38,755 and 1,60,345 plus 2,34,582 plus 82,000. 30. Now children, these two sums I hope you can do. Make a mass notebook of single line and then start the work with very beautiful handwriting. You need two topic addition and do these two sums. I am giving one more assignment and see assignments. And note down all these sums. These are very good questions. You can understand in better way after solving these sums. I hope you can do because I am thinking all of you are very smart. All of you can do very, very e easily and speedily. And don't waste the time. Pick the notebook and start the work. I think you will not feel bored. Now you will get assignment. And I hope all of you will enjoy with this lesson. And thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.